It was actually quite difficult for me to stop smoking. Tyson Heilicker started smoking at age 13. He says everyone in his family smoked, including his father, who died from colorectal cancer. It took several attempts, but Tyson has not had a cigarette in the last four years. I was considering going out in the pouring rain, walking down the, down the street to just get a pack of cigarettes, and something at that point, after trying a few other times, just kind of snapped. But for many, it continues to be a daily struggle. Just walk outside in almost any American city, and it's easy to find people, including men, who are still smoking, even though smoking is associated with developing and dying from several diseases. Prostate cancer is now another disease that is associated with smoking. Dr. Stacy Kenfield from the Harvard School of Public Health and co-authors studied data of more than 5,300 men involved in the health professionals follow-up study who were diagnosed with prostate cancer. Researchers looked at smoking information provided prior to their diagnosis. The men were then followed for just over 20 years. Current smokers had a 61% increased risk of prostate cancer recurrence and a 61% increased risk of prostate cancer-specific mortality. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Men who quit smoking at least 10 years prior to their prostate cancer diagnosis had risks of recurrence and mortality that were very similar to men who had never smoked. Researchers also observed an increased risk of dying from cardiovascular disease and overall death in men still smoking at the time of their diagnosis. However, when it comes to prostate cancer, the message is clear. Men should quit smoking to reduce the risk of prostate cancer recurrence and improve prostate cancer-specific survival. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.